missing car driver. Have you got any good luck stones? They were cheating because of a lucky stone. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the second round of the Tony Car Championship. It's a bit bright um, at Brands Hatch. Much better weather than Donington, but it looks like it's going to be pretty shocking tomorrow. Um, today's just set up day, Friday, all the usual stuff. Just done a track walk. Um, cars well in the background, all getting weighed and all the final setups are done. Um, Bobby's car's all done. Bobby's doing some social media stuff here. What are you up to, guys? You're currently walking on set. We're just filming. All oh, right, all oh, right. Okay. The best set of TikToks you would have ever seen. Yeah. Right. What's my TikTok channel? <laughs> <laughs> underscore Bobby T underscore. There we go. Follow Bobby on TikTok. Um, so yeah, they're doing some uh, media stuff, and um, that's about it really today. Nothing to really, really report. Um, I've just done a video today explaining all the differences with the hybrid from 2022 to 2023 so if you're interested in seeing the differences just click on the link here and they give you full explanations quite a lot that's changed it's quite quite complicated all the changes so see what you think and um, yeah we'll uh, we'll be getting ready for some wet running tomorrow here she is So she looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we have a better weekend than Donington and I will do my best to get this video out as soon as possible after this round because I got told off before. Um, so yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Morning guys, Saturday morning, qualifying and two practices today. Didn't sleep very well last night, not good at all, but we'll power through, lots of black coffee today. That's, uh, Turn one, you can't really see it from the camera, but shocks you every time uh, how steep it is. Um, all week it says it's been absolutely it down all day today, but um, it's dry, so it just shows how pointless it is looking at the weather nowadays. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if we had, we had a bit of wet at some point, probably like five minutes before qualifying, knowing touring cars. Um, so yeah, all good. Breathalyzers and driver's briefing. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. So we just finished driver's briefing. Something unexpected has happened. So we're done um, scrutineering and just found out my odd boots are not not fit for this year. Uh, the regs changed, so we're going up to the shop now to get some new ones. Nick, Nick gave me his boots just to use for today, but they're out of regs as well. They've even. There is old ones, by the way. Yeah, there is old. Case. Yeah, there, these are the old ones. Just but in case these, Sam Richards is watching. These have got uh, like carbon on and everything, but not allowed to use these. Like 400 pound boots. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go buy some new boots now. Buy a few one. Right, so we just come up to um, Alex Reed's <laughs> to get um, some boots. These fit like a glove, and we've got 20 minutes to FP1. Yeah, all good. Sweet. Let's go. Thanks, mate. Cheers. So the first session was all right. It was P15. Um, it was raining. We had slicks on, so we were a bit off the pace. But um, in general, it felt okay. Making some changes for the second one, but it's properly wet now. I think it's gonna it's gonna stay wet for the rest of the day. So that's good. Um, so yeah, not a lot to report really. Lovely weather and it's going to be dry tomorrow, which is good. So every year the drivers have to take a test um, with the regulations. So got a load of questions here from Motorsport UK. Bobby's doing his... Uh, um, so yeah, we've got to take this test to make sure we pass, which is obviously good. See how I do. Forgot how to use a pen. Okay, so we got qualifying in 10 minutes. Last minute trip for a little week and then um, see how we get on. FP2 was a mess, some things weren't right. Uh, we've, we'll put them right now so it should be okay for quality. So it's got a lot wetter now so 
fingers crossed. So we just finished quali. Um, first time we got into Q2, which is really good. And we ended up P9, uh, really tricky conditions. There were like three or four red flags. Uh, unfortunately, we used all our new tires in Q1, so we didn't have the new tires to get the peak in Q2, but still really good effort. We were P20 in FP2 and the car was pretty horrendous. So the big, big changes we did for quality paid off. So I'm really happy to be honest, some real progress made from Donington. Bobby's up in P6, yeah, I think P6. So like um, Jack's, Jack, Jack's P13, so as a team, we've definitely, definitely moved forward. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, very, very tough day, but a good end. End of the day, we've got a personal chauffeur. Slowly, we're getting there slowly. Mr. Do you fish P6 or P7? P6, mate. Oh, Mr. P6 himself. Morning, guys. Race day today. Um, slept like for once. I slept really, really well. Slept uh, through seven and a half hours last night, so I feel like a new man, which is good. Um, circuit's already getting busy. See all the car park, all the banks full over there. To be fair, it's not as busy as normal for Brands Hatch, but the, we the weather's been pretty shocking, to be fair. I'm sure it'll get busy later. It's supposed to be 19, 20 degrees later. So um, obviously wet all day yesterday, um, made some improvements with the car. So got to see if that works in the dry now. Um, so yeah, should be good starting P9. We've got breathalyzer this morning. We've got pit lane walkabout autograph session and then um, crack on with the races. I think about half 11. So yeah, feeling good. So just doing autograph session. I did a TikTok competition. So the guys here who's won it. There you go, mate. <laughs> there we go. So we've just done a bit of data and um, stuff like that. And then check this out. So we've got a nice little balcony this weekend. So this is on top of the data truck. Um, so we've got a mega view. Really good view all the way around the circuit, uh, which is cool. And it's definitely getting busy now. When I came in this morning, it was 8 a.m. So it's quite quiet. Um, but yeah, getting busy. Bobby, how are you feeling? Feeling ready for it. Yeah. Wait and see what this weather does. Bobby's sick. Um, both see what we got today, set up wise, and should be good, should it? Yeah. yeah should I'm be good. Stay out of each other's way. Yeah. I'll just follow Bobby through. Bobby's gonna attack. Oh, baby. <laughs> it looks really green now. Look at that. Yeah. It's still really wet. Yeah, it's so still it's... wet. We've got about two hours, but like yeah. Donington, it didn't dry at all, so. It's quite cold still, so we'll see anyway. Alright, hang on. So, Mum, tell us about the stones. <laughs> I got some lucky stones this weekend. Yeah, I got them from um, Kingsgate. <laughs> no, I went to see a Kingsgate, woman. Kingsgate, it's a shopping centre in, in Huddersfield. A woman on a stone. Yeah, it'll sell loads and loads of stones for different reasons and I said my son's a racing car driver have you got any good luck stones and this woman was kind enough to sell my mum uh, these stones and we got two haven't we yeah they were four quid each yeah so they were good good ones yeah yeah so yeah I said yeah. need to give other people a chance really if we got two so we gave them to um um <laughs> so no, we gave, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> cheating. They were cheating because of a lucky stone. So yeah, see if they work today. They worked yesterday, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. She was called Annabella. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone needs some luck here in Huddersfield, go to Kingsgate and go see a a a Anna Annabella. Annabella. Yeah, yeah. So we're back again with the post-race diet. Oh, ready for this. I'm starving. Um, I'll update you on what happened after. Morning guys. So <laughs> a little bit of um little bit of a break in this video. I didn't do the best job of filming on race day. Uh try no one uh 
Try uh, not have a go at me, please. Um, yeah, it, it was a good day in the end. We, we had like three solid results, three point scoring races, 10th, 11th, 14th. Um, just struggled a little bit with race pace, a bit too much understeer, um, which is why I couldn't move forward a little bit really. Um, but we definitely took a step forward from Donny, so it was good, like positive in general. Bobby did a mega job. He got a great result for the team in the third race, uh, P2. Um, so we're actually leading the team independence championship now, which is great. Um, it's only round two, and I honestly think we're only gonna get stronger and stronger throughout the year. Um, it was our first real uh, day running in the dry on, in terms of race pace with, with our new setup. Um, first time running softs in the third race, so it was quite a big learning curve. So all things considering, it was actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, hoping we get it hooked up for Snetterton in two weeks' time. Feeling quite good, just been to the gym. Um, shoulder's still a bit sore, but I'm just getting on the bike. and I haven't been to the gym at all in the last three weeks because of my shoulder. So um, yeah, getting fat. Um, so yeah, back on it now. So yeah, all good. Uh, when I got home Sunday night, I watched a couple of the races back, I watched the last race. Let me know what you all think about the decision in the third race. I'd be quite interested to see what you all think about it with uh, the track limits and collard. Um, it's, yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. I, I don't know what I think about it. It's um, He went off track limits, but I think Tim Harvey said, you know, probably the most clever thing because he's leading at the front, he's the one, he's got all eyes on him. But, you know, it shouldn't be a decision on who, who the camera's on, it should be a decision for everyone. But let me know what you think, it's quite interesting. Um, and then, yeah, I'll make sure I do film next time race day at Snetterton. Um, it's just not good enough, is it? It's not good enough. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, please give it a like. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers recently. We've had quite a few and um, try to keep this up. So yeah, cheers guys. See you at Snet.